Welcome to Schizo Garage. Da 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 da. It's Schizo Garage. I'm just gonna use the Entertainment Tonight theme from the 80s. So earlier in the week, I did a, uh, I did that Israel video, just saying the whole thing is a work. And um, since then, it's just uh, more and more evidence that that it is. Uh, just a, a setup, the whole thing. It's a whole. It's a work. You know, I see more people openly discussing that possibility, though. Of course, it'll never get across with some people. That's just not. They wouldn't even understand what you're talking about. But for those of us who have been through a lot of these and have seen this kind of stuff many times before, that's exactly what it is. Uh, you know, it's sad if people really. And I'm sure people are really getting hurt over there. Especially in Gaza Strip. It's sad. It's sad. I like, though, that when they turn the, the water off on them, they have that giant downpour right after that. You know, it's like, who? I, I think God's picking sides. I don't know if there really was a, a side, though. Like, because the, the, the whole thing with... And now I'm seeing more of it too. They're they're trying to complete the two to each other Hamas with ISIS. It's like, well, that just makes it worse because I mean, you don't have to be in the intelligence community to know that uh, ISIS is a complete uh, government operation from top to bottom. It's a that's a U.S. Mossad uh, joint operation. There, you know, basically when they want to fuck up an area or put some kind of puppet leader into control. Uh, and they even did it in the Philippines because they were mad at the Dutri. What was his name? That guy's funny. He kind of fell off the face of the earth. Did he die? I hope not. I hope I didn't just kill him. But, um, yeah, the uh, they just send them over, their own people, their own guys, their own crew, and then they tell everybody, oh, they're over there. We have to go fight them. And then they, they go fight them. None of these countries, like, you know, this the, the, the Jewish Arab thing. I mean, I'm sure there is hatred there, but at the very top, they're buddies, man. This is all kayfabe. It's all a work. All these countries aren't mad at each other. They're all working together. There is, we already have that one world government that people are so afraid of. Uh, we've had it for a long time. At least since the Antarctica Treaty, but probably before that, I'm sure. I mean, all the the uh, all the hatred between these nations is just for our our benefit and for their story. That's it. You know, that's all it is. But yeah, more and more stuff is uh, coming out that uh, backs up the idea that it is indeed a work. And I knew, you know, a lot of us knew from the drop anyway. I was watching this one video where they had, uh, was showing the Hamas guys getting on their little Ewok gliders. And I snapped a picture here of this. This, this emblem looks like it would be more from, uh, the Israeli side than something from Hamas. I mean, if you, I'm not an expert on, uh, these badges or designations, but it, that looks like an Israeli thing. I, I don't think they would be that, that careless in these films, but uh, who knows? You know, they are kind of sloppy with this stuff. But it's all about, you know, getting that, that third temple built and um, redeveloping the Middle East uh, so that they can move into their next uh, part of what they think is going to be just another reset, like another end times uh, script story. It's not going to happen the same way, though, this time. Because they've done it too many times. I mean, they've, they've done... These things have been done over and over and over. And um, I don't think they... And this is the last one. I mean, this is the end. It's not even going to be one. It's This is uh, the end of all that stuff. It's the end of an age. The end of a cycle. Um, it's just over. We're not going to have that happen again. But I don't think they realize that. Or maybe they do, and they're just... I don't know. I don't think they know what else to do. They're going through the motions, I guess. Either way, it's just, um, it's interesting to watch. 
But uh, yeah, you, you see, um, the the thing that is real, right? Israel. The part of it that is real is the people's reaction to it, like the way um, you know people are flipping out on social media, and some some people are really going mask off with this whole thing, like. Uh, they're going all in on the genocide thing like oh we have to wipe them out it's like really geez man okay <laughs> you know people who I thought were kind of um, semi normal in understanding uh, seem to have gone full demon um, yeah and the thing that's funny too is like no one's buying their crap this time you know, because, uh, again, you know, we, we've seen all this kind of stuff from them before. Some of the outrageous kind of claims of uh, violence and things they're coming up with, these beheaded babies and stuff, and a few of the images they're passed around have come back as being AI-generated. Um, there's this one here that uh, it's one of the first shots you saw of the Ewok gliders when put through a pattern recognition program, you get this. So what, so what do they want you to think, you know? It's just more uh, Kabbalist magic bullshit, you know? Same, same stuff, same, same mind control, lesser magic BS. But yeah, I, I mean, as they play their little game, there are there are people getting hurt, and that's uh, that's horrible. It's horrible, you know. I mean, you don't like to think about that. But uh, I, I wonder how long this is actually gonna go on, or, or where they're gonna take it. But they, the, 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 they're not getting the support. Um, Israel is in any way that. Uh, they thought they would get from the general public and again like uh, you know when they don't get it they get really mad I watched some guy uh, talking on an interview show who was reporting from the area he was a Jewish guy and the uh, the news person asked him about civilian casualties on the Palestinian side and he just went mask off too how can how do you dare ask me about civilians we are at war here. We're fighting literal Nazis. Uh, you, you see that word come up now too a lot. Like uh, they're trying to conflate those two things. It's like, ah, oh, man. They're not being they're not being very chill about it. You know, they're going too hard in the paint, and it's making people. I mean, just regular people go like, wow. Uh, you guys seem a bit bloodthirsty here. What? What's that all about? The, uh, these claims of uh, violence haven't gotten as bad as some of the stuff we've seen in the past, like the, uh, the eagle in the bear cage or the uncle that was frozen uh, and, and shattered to pieces or the roller coaster thing or the masturbation machine. We haven't seen that kind of stuff yet, but as the days go by, and they're not getting that pop from people that they expected. Uh, they're becoming more screechy and more desperate. And um, it's just going to hurt them. You know, it's not good for their their overall world image to be clamoring for uh, genocide, to wipe those people out, to end those people. And, you know, calling them all kinds of things, subhumans and stuff. It's like, what? Yeah, it's, it's, it's going total mask off at this point. So I think people are, are are beginning to look at them a little bit differently. Like, what the... What? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. I was looking at this thing today, too, from... Um, someone was talking about the Illuminati card game. If you don't know what that is, it's a uh, card game that came out in 1995 from... I think it was Steve Jackson Games. I was working at Diamond Comic Distributors at the time when that came out. And I, I remember we got boxes of them in. Not a lot of them, but we were distributing that that particular game. And a few of my friends who were working there grabbed the pack of it. And I just remember looking through it and being like, oh yeah, martial law. Yeah, this, this stuff is probably all 
all in the cards, you know, for around the millennium, I was thinking. Now, like, 25 years later, we see that uh, not only has all that stuff come true, but some of those images are exact to people and events that have happened. Real weird story about that, too. Uh, I guess it was, like, maybe three or four years ago, we had an Anon come on X uh, talking about a friend of his that was a... Him and his father were Freemasons. Not him, but his friend and his friend's father were Freemasons. And his friend would get drunk with him and tell him some crazy stuff once in a while. And what he told them at this point uh, when they were out is that uh, he had been working in uh, Antarctica. And he was telling them some of the stuff they, they found down there. And they have... Uh, a lot of construction crews and uh, heavy equipment that are digging out these sort of uh, underground layers and these uh, giant underground temples. And one thing he brought up was that they found this room, um, this is what his story was, they found this room that had these giant plates on it that were made of like uh, some kind of material, like it wasn't glass, it wasn't plastic, but it was something else. Uh, and there were these like big plates, I guess like uh, three foot by two foot across type of thing, like a, um, almost like film uh, pieces that I guess could be loaded into some kind of machine. And the film pieces he was describing, he said that they had like paintings or what looked like paintings with a lot of garish colors of what um, a possible world events that could uh, could be happening at some point in the future or happened in the past. And some of them were broken, uh, but they were stacking them up and taking photos of them. And the idea was, I guess, they went into some sort of machine or there was some sort of holder. They were trying to figure out what, what the deal was with these things. And, um, and myself and some other Anons uh, immediately thought, Illuminati card game. Um, you know, giant paintings or, or, or you know with garish colors uh, he said they were like crude but you could make out what was going on uh, I forget which things he pointed out he was saying it, it uh, was like figures who are in the world now and events that have happened in the world now the guy making the post didn't make that connection but myself and a few others did that these things were um, up there, were down there in Antarctica. Well, on the side there, there was no down there. <laughs> Over in Antarctica, they were there. Um, so there's some kind of system where there's an idea that they know what's going to happen or they can make these things happen, perhaps, and that's what the machine was about. I don't know, but I uh, just thought it was kind of weird how that could be tied to that. I just, I just got thinking about that because of the whole Israel and possible World War III thing they're trying to do now. And uh, someone was showing a, a video of people playing that game from back in the day. Yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff going on down, well, not down, going on in Antarctica. But yeah, of course, uh, I'm watching this whole thing go on. I got one eye on it. I got my other two eyes on something else. Don't blame the teacher, blame the school. <laughs>